Oh, all these kids today. Wow. Que lindo, that's amazing. I'm gonna have a blast. Today is a work day. We have Gilberto joining us today. As always, Wilfredo and Jacinto. We just went deep, very deep in this here amazing, sacred, life-giving book. We talked about uh, John chapter 1 and 2, and uh, now we're getting ready to um, get to work. We got a lot to do today. Amen, Jacinto? Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. 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 On the way to the Comarca today uh, to help our friends on an outreach, we are putting our new truck to good use on the very first day we got it. But we made a quick stop here at this little waterfall. The girls seem to be having a lot of fun. Crossing this river right now, and in front of us is uh, David and Yvonne, the missionary. Uh, our missionary friends that were coming and helping support today and doing a little bit of film, filming for their short film uh, just to give you a glimpse of how they're rolling. We just arrived in Hebei once again. We were here last week um, and uh, we got all the children here waiting for church to start from four to five, and then at five is the feeding program. Today I get to teach all these kids that are coming in. Oh my goodness. Oh, praise God. I'm so glad. This is great. And, uh, you know, I was just asked to do this today. I kind of mentioned something to the pastor last week and really did connect with him again. And then today he's like, hey, you're teaching, right? And I said, uh, yeah. Thing, a very good thing. I brought my dandy handy duffel bag with wigs and robes and fake detachable ears. How many minutes do you need? You want an ear? You want an ear, David? I need one. <laughs> well, that's right. That's I don't even, I I really forgot. He's, he's, he's lost <laughs> hearing on <laughs> you. Oh, all these kids today. Wow. Que lindo. That's amazing. I'm gonna have a blast. I am literally sweating. I don't know if you can see. Because there was like an oven in there. Wowzers. But worth every minute. We just got this truck today, look. Hola. And uh, they are using it to, as a place to sit down and eat. So, hola. Like this little girl's going to town on her food. Already putting it to good use, as I mentioned. And just, uh, it's amazing, amazing. We are back at the farm and I was, you know, I was gone for a lot of the day yesterday, uh, picking up the, the new truck and all, all of that. So I, I left with Fredo supervising our other three workers and look what he, uh, look what he did yesterday. This is the egg laying box right here. Wow. I just, I just pretty much let Wilfredo take charge and I said, dude, here's the vision. You know, let your mind go to work. And uh, let me give you another shot of this. Sorry for the mess. No, I'm not actually. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's just a place of storage for the meantime. Look at that egg laying box right there. Boom. So the concept is going to help us 
uh, not have to crouch, you know, bend over or anything like that. Just come in here. I am fully standing. Look at that. I don't have to bend over or anything. And um, boom. There's going to be a door right here with hinges. Door. We just open it. We stick our hands in. And uh, we get the eggs. Bada bing. Bada boom. Overall, about a $700 project. But we did it. Another great thing that uh, happened yesterday while I was gone is that we installed these. We actually moved them from way over there. The missus, you know, the missus has got to do what the missus wants. Uh, she wanted them over here to where, uh, and it makes sense to where the rest of the garden is so everything stays together. Uh, these were installed. Uh, the bottom is uh, maybe about two inches into the ground, maybe more. And these were built to and screwed together so that when the dirt is added in, um, the pressure doesn't collapse them. So there you have it, folks. Those are our race bed gardens made out of zinc. We are ecstatic, man. We are, man, I'm pumped. By the way, these reinforcements here, it's all wood from our farm. We had a stack of uh, wood that we cut. And the point is, is that we're using our own resources from the farm. One more thing I wanted to share that is truly uh, a, a work in progress over the last two weeks is that we now have officially a meter. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, go on and praise him. <laughs> Man. So um, for right now, we got, a, we got a, a rig here. So we're definitely taking big leaps of faith because remember, please remember that without works, faith is dead. Without action, faith is dead. God bless you all.